Okay, here we have 5.2 multiplication and division of three rational expressions. So the key thing to remember here is that you need to flip any fractions that follow a division symbol, you need to factor every numerator and denominator where possible, and then you simplify by reducing the common term, common numerators with common denominators. So the first one I'm gonna do here is, uh, I'm gonna rewrite the first fraction because it does not follow a division symbol. And I'm gonna keep this fraction exactly the same because it does not follow a division symbol. However, this division is gonna to turn to multiplication and I am going to flip that last fraction that does follow a division symbol. Now we're going to factor every numerator and denominator. Again, if you're great at factoring, this step will be just as fast for you as it is for me. If you're struggling with factoring, this step may take a little bit longer for you um, than it does for me. But eventually, by the time you're done with this class, um, you definitely want to be at that point where you can factor just as fast as I'm factoring. And here I'm just going to put these in parentheses. Um, so that they look exactly like the other factors that are already in parentheses. So now reducing time. I can take this x and this x and reduce those out. I can take the x minus 5 and x minus 5. I could take the x plus 5 and x plus 5 and even the x plus minus 7 and x minus 7. Um, and it looks to me like that's all I can cancel, but that was a lot. So I am left with x plus 3 all by itself in the numerator and a 5 in the denominator. And so this is the final answer. I've got another couple of examples. So here I have two division symbols. So following those division symbols, I have two fractions that I'm going to have to flip over. So I'm going to have 5x, and instead of rewriting this, I'm going to use its factored version. So x minus 6, x minus 3. Then I'm going to do times, and I'm going to flip this over. But when I flip this over, I'm going to do two steps in one. Not only am I going to flip it over, but I'm also going to factor it. So x squared minus 9 is going to be at the top, and that factors into x minus 3 and x plus 3. x squared plus 1 is going to go to the bottom, and I'm going to factor out x, and that leaves me with x plus 1. Here I'm going to change that to multiplication, and this is going to flip over as well, but there's no factoring necessary in that third fraction. So the x minus 6 stays the same, and the y plus 3. Now you can put those in parentheses like I did the last problem, or you can leave them like that. You just have to remember that this whole thing is canceling with this whole thing, and this whole thing is canceling with this whole thing. And then I also have an x that will reduce. And I even have an x minus 3 that will reduce. And so what am I left with? I'm left with a 5 in the numerator, and I'm left with an x plus 1 in the denominator. And therefore, that is the final answer there. Now here, um, I do have to do what's inside the parentheses. We always have to follow our order of operations. So I do have to do what's inside the parentheses first. So I'm going to factor this numerator. Um, but I'm not going to do anything with it other than just factor it and then figure this part out. So I'm going to factor um, this numerator x plus 5, x minus 5, factor that, x minus 7 times x minus 4, x minus 5. So then this is going to cancel with this, but nothing else will cancel. So I end up with x plus 5, x minus 4 over 7x divided by, and then this will become one fraction, x plus 5 times x minus 4, the whole numerator, and then x times x minus 7. And so I'm not quite done yet because now I have to do this division. So I'm going to keep x plus 5 and x minus 4 over 7x the same, and then the division changes to times, and then this flips around. So x, x minus 7, and then the two parentheses at the bottom now. 
and then now I can reduce. So x plus 5 will wipe out, x minus 4 will wipe out, this x and this x will also wipe out. Um, so I end up with x minus 7 over a 7. Now remember, you cannot cancel these 7s because these are two terms together and that is a single term. You don't know if this entire numerator can be reduced by 7 because you don't know what x is. If x is 5, then this is 5 minus 7, which is a negative 2 value. And negative 2 and 7 do not reduce. Okay? So you cannot just cancel the 7s like that. You have to cancel the whole expression x minus 7 or just leave it alone. So that will be my final answer.